Femme Chouchou Salon, which, is, uh, which encompasses the three collaboratories, the Ministry of Basic and Senior Secondary Education, um, the Department, the GSTI, which is the Directorate of Science, Technology and Innovation, and the UK team, um, is aiming at raising <coughs> up, um, awareness and aspiration um, within, um, um, in, uh, with students, but also in uh, targeting um, the basic uh, uh, primary, secondary, and, and, and tertiary education. I mean, when I said raising aspiration, it means um, removing the misconception that science is difficult, um, um, reaching out to um, the disadvantage who think science is just for the rich people, and, and, and removing that um, um, misconception that science is, is impossible uh, to do. But also um, leveraging um, the teaching and learning processes within schools so that um, uh, the science teaching within school is, is improved and, and lessons are more interesting and interactive. So people, um, students will take up science, not drop them. Now, um, the way forward is to expose, um, in the first instance, the, 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 the STEM industry vis-a-vis um, -vis the private sector um, STEM careers. Because I believe that majority of your companies or your organizations um, per se do not um, really have an insight to the public uh, proactively to be able to know what type of careers, STEM careers, are available. We want them to really start loving these subjects because now they don't. Because what has happened, they actually have this mental blockage that these subjects are very difficult. But we, in STEM, we're going to try to revive that again because these are actually the subjects which are very easy and we all know gone are the days when you have to be a lawyer to be a millionaire. Now you look within the first hundred um, 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 rich people in the world, they are all within STEM. We all know that. They are all within STEM. If not all of them. I'm sure even all of them are within STEM subjects. So, going back to this, we really want our kids to love science, technology, engineering, mathematics, which is very, very important for us. If you noticed within the, the package that was sent to you, all the lectures, the slides that we're supposed to show are actually inside, they're all attached. So I'm just going to be very brief because there's no need for me to go very detailed because you already have them inside your slide. But before I start, there's a clip we want to show you on how this was done in the United Kingdom a few years back. So please, can you show this video? Well, I was getting to the end of university and I was realizing that everyone's telling me to go into the STEM industry. We need to fill this gap um, and we need more women in STEM. And I was thinking, oh, what? what am I going to do? What is there available? So the aim of this conference is to expose the STEM industry. What we're trying to do is make people realize that it's a very diverse industry and that you don't have to have a particular skill. There's different things you can go into and there's different ways to go into it, such as um, apprenticeships in university, um, specialist school. We all need to understand certain things. The president in his manifesto actually got a lot of people who sat and realized that yes, there are steps to deliver all these manifestos and that's what we're doing. Now over here we have really the theme of our next conference, which is providing education that enhances inclusivity, innovation, empowerment, technology and creativity. So that's the theme, and it's actually repeated over here again. Education that enhances inclusivity, innovation, technology, empowerment, and creativity. So we would be actually working on these things because that's what the government is actually planning so that we can have all this. Uh, we are trying to build significance in this particular uh, program because we believe that is the way to go. Uh, on our part as a ministry, we believe we have to extend our operations to uh, not only people that are 
implementing educational programs, but to the private sector also, because over the years we have not been able to harness the kind of opportunities that are available, especially in private sector participation in implementing our education programs. So this time around, we want to change the narrative. That is why some of these programs have been uh, initiated. So we, we thank you very much for taking the time out of your busy schedule. I believe